for that day. They're doing superbly well here. Big man Lalani Coco goes through then for their second try at the beginning of this tie. And the big six foot two, 16 stone winger. Well, he takes him stopping at any time. Rambaka then waiting to feed this scrum has Serevi just behind him. Now Serevi switches. Rolouni outside him. Here comes Rolouni. Back in the middle and gets the touchdown. So a fine moment then for the Fijians as they finally get their act together. Try scored by Vili Raulini. Well, it certainly was a super scrum. A flip up pass there to Serevi. He took actually three men away. And then a smashing try by Raulini. Finally, Romaka gets it away to Serevi. Good quick ball. Force back across field though. Raulini. Going for the gap. Up to the last line of defence. It's Serevi who's there to take the pass, and he's got the pace to take him clear. Waisale Serevi then with his seventh try of the competition. And really, this is a very simple game, one. It's amazing, though, just how they're waiting so patiently. It's like the old-fashioned sevens that we used to be played in the, the 60s and early 70s. But... Uh, it, you saw Serevi passing the long pass out there, and you know the Western Samoan defence opened up. And there was Serevi coming back to take this at the pass to go and score. But he keeps running and dodging and running and dodging. He almost ran beyond the dead ball line. He's just getting a wee bit too arrogant, maybe for his own good. So it's the man himself who's going to try and convert. Just those couple of steps back, couple to the left, stroll up. Thank you very much. Sweet as a nut then again from Serevi, and that's how it finished. Fiji 14, the Samoans 12. Gavin, you've got a point you want to make about the Samoans, I think. Your choice, of course. Yes, indeed. Well, they've played two games there and the pool matches, and I think they're going to be struggling to make the uh, semi-final playoffs, but um, revenge for Fiji over the uh, Hong Kong defeat. Mm. Do you think uh, the Fijians have sort of got, I mean, it's not the right words, I know, I mean, the Indian sign on them, they, they, they seem to drop their heads a bit when Fiji came on strong there. Well, the Fijians, they're past masters at really knowing when to play a key match, and uh, they realised that that one was a key match, and, and they performed well enough to, to win the game. Word from you about how difficult it is to play that natural, free-flowing Fijian game in these conditions. Yeah, the rain's starting to get harder and harder, and that does make it very hard for teams to flick the ball around, and the Fijians especially seem to do most of it one-handed, but that'll be a bit harder for them. But they've adapted. I mean, two years ago in Hong Kong, it was, it was pouring with rain, and they still won it there, so... They're, they're still amazing. They've got these huge hands. Mm. Not like yours, actually. Mm. Not like mine. Looks like bye-bye to those Samoans, though, doesn't it, really? I'm afraid so. OK. Well, right at the start of the programme, we saw that uh, superb Irish victory over the Samoans. And now Ireland meet the Tongans, knowing another win, and they're virtually certain to be through to the semi-finals here this afternoon. Our commentators for this one, Nigel Carr and Alistair Higmore. Tongans penalised for diving over. So Ireland have survived an opening battle, and this is Elwood, the long pass to Wallace. Wallace, the flyer, chased by Wolfram, goes round him, Polo goes back. But Wallace keeps on going and outstrips the cover. Richard Wallace to score for Ireland. Yeah, it was this, uh, this pass coming up that really made the try. The long miss pass giving Wallace a lot of room on the outside, and he has a good bit of pace. Now, at one stage, thought he might have been caught. Two men covering over at speed, but it just didn't quite get the hand to him. Wallace went on round. Round behind the post. It's very important on every occasion you get as close to the post as you can. Wallace going round to eventually touch it down. And close enough, of course, for Eric Elwood to kick the points. Smiles all round on the Irish bench. A little problem with the scrum. Mr Gajovic making sure that everybody knows what he wants and he's not happy with what the Tongans have given him and Ireland take the quick cap penalty Elwood, Eric Elwood goes through and scores for Ireland Eric Elwood 
their leading scorer he takes the kicks as well and what a good try super try i mean inside they must be delighted but they're showing a very workmanlike spirit the wee dummy